Hi there. I'm now in Sinai on a family vacation. And here is a question for all of you. From where I live to where I sit now, Noeba, it took me about four hours, maybe closer to five hours drive all together, including the taxi from the border of Egypt to here. Now, when I left home early in the morning, I left Israel. Then I passed through the Palestinian authorities. On the way before I reached Egypt, I could easily see uh, Jordan just a few kilometers on my left. And then I crossed the, the border to Egypt. Right after that, I could see uh, Saudi Arabia on my left, which is, this is the, the Gulf of Aqaba. <clears throat> and on the other side, where you don't see the sea anymore, those are the mountains of Saudi Arabia. It's very hazy, so it's hard to see today, <clears throat> maybe later. Beautiful mountains. So everything is within a very short distance. And by the way, historically, the British were uh, the ruling army here, the ruling kingdom here. Uh, everything was under their colonialism. The question is like this. Every time I pass from Israel to the Palestinian authorities, to Egypt, looking to my left, seeing Jordan, looking again to Saudi Arabia, economies are so different although we are so close to each other. And um, the agro sector is so different, although so, we are so close to each other. And the state of farmers is so different, although we are so close to each other. Now, is it that there is no access to technology? Just because we passed a thin border is it knowledge? There is no access to knowledge. Again, we're talking about Israel, Palestinian Authority, Egypt, Jordan, Saudi Arabia. All of them within something like a two hours drive from where I am now. Three hours, the most. Um, so what do you think? What can explain this huge difference in the agro sector of each of those entities. Write down below. Bye bye.